Hey you guys, welcome back to Beamer Light. I am back you guys with another word and I'm so excited to share this with you guys. So let's get right into this message and I pray it blesses you and edifies you today in Jesus name. So I just wanted to share about when God begins to promote you and move you forward and um, whenever he's just like having you to be uprooted from a specific place or, you know, a specific location, or maybe it could be a group of people or some kind of community. And I'm talking mainly, you know, when you're walking in faith to the Lord, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're walking in faith to the Lord, um, and you've been obedient and you have, you're like, you're just seeking the Lord. And, um, one thing that I've constantly, um, would go through in season, like in and out of seasons with the, with the Lord is whenever God is getting me ready to go somewhere new or whenever he's having me to be uprooted somehow and some way I go through some kind of opposition. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. That maybe if you are going through opposition or if you have been going through opposition, or maybe if there's like this level of opposition that has just been like heightened and you're just like why am I going through sudden warfare um and we know that in this season and this time frame especially going into the month of October um there's like this deepened warfare and I'll get into that in a little bit but I do want to talk about that if you're going through this in the season just know that God is uprooting his children and when I sit back and I reflect and I meditate on the word of God I begin to realize that the enemy doesn't like anything good that God does in our lives, but we know that. Like if you if you're in the faith and you're walking out in faith, you know that we have an adversary, we have an enemy who is Satan, and he you know goes around prowling around seeking whom he, whom he may devour, and he's just a fake thing, devil. That's just who he is. He's a liar, and we have to know what his schemes look like. We have to be discerning and vigilant at all times because he's coming around to destroy. But if you are in the faith, if you're walking out in faith to the Lord and being obedient and being led by the Holy Spirit, then you know that God is on your side. And so again, going back to um, just being in a season because I've constantly, I've gone through this, like I've gone through opposition and maybe this is something that you can relate to in your walk in the Lord today. And maybe this is just a season you've entered as well, where it's like, there's this opposition, there's this warfare and you're discerning it and you're just like, why am I going through this? And so oftentimes it may come from people that are close to you. It may come from people that you did not even expect it to come from. Or it may just be like something that is just like unbearable. And so that with God, all things are possible. We know that through his word. And so I just want to like encourage you with this today because things won't happen just for any reason, right? God has a plan. He has a purpose for our lives. And whenever there's opposition, you know, we can go into James where it talks about consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, when you face trials of various kinds. The reason why that scripture is given to us is because we're always going to go through trials. We're always going to face giants and oppositions. It's not that we want to. It's just that's how life is built at times. And so when we go through these unlikely circumstances, when we go through opposition, we know we can lean on to God, who is our Savior, our Redeemer, and our Rescuer, and He leads the way. And so again, if you're going through any kind of opposition or warfare in this season, in this time and hour, just know that God is getting to uproot you. God is getting ready to move you forward. And oftentimes, the very things and people that have been surrounding you, that either they're either a like a threat to your faith, whether you know this or not, or whether, see, God knows what's being said behind our backs. This is why he says, do not repay evil with evil, but repay evil with good, because people still have to see, they may talk about you behind your back. They may plan things behind you, behind your back. They may gossip. They may throw darts. They may, they're probably being used by the enemy. And the reason why God wants us to be vigilant, discerning, but also gracious is because he extends that to us. People have to know and see God's goodness in our lives by us being his 
reflection. By us being his true sons and daughters, we can't go and repay the same thing back. We can be wise and guard our hearts, but also like know the fruits of the Holy Spirit are for us, are for me, are for you. And so whenever people start to come up against you or they start to talk about you or you have this opposition and maybe there's things being said and you just, you're discerning, okay, something switched. There's a shift in the atmosphere. Bless them and allow God to move you forward because the thing is, is that God, no matter what, he gets to say. He gets to say over his children's lives. See, the thing, whenever... Whenever opposition comes and it's being targeted towards us, it's because it's God inside of us. If you guys hear snoring, that's Bo. If if you're ever just coming up against mockery, people mocking you or doubting you or they're just coming up against what God's doing in your life. That means it's time to go. It's time to be uprooted. It's time for God to continue to move you forward. We Again, I love quoting Jeremiah 29, 11. He says, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, plans not to harm you, but to give you hope and a future. We cannot control what people say about us. We cannot control what people do to us, but we can control how we respond by walking out in the fruits of the Holy Spirit. See, God's with us. He's for us, right? He says, greater is he that is in you, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. The world's following deceit. They're following, you know, false narratives. They're following lies and deception and they're being confused. And we have to be the light. And by being the light, sometimes it means to take take those hits. Maybe you want to respond in the way that you used to respond with your former self. Old Jeanette cannot respond in old the way old Jeanette would respond, but I can respond and give grace as the new creation that I have been walking out in because I'm now a reflection of Jesus. I'm now, I carry the heart of Christ. So something in me is transformed for others to know the way God is real, God is faithful, you know? And I'm thinking of that scripture that goes, giving a gift turns away wrath, and I might be paraphrasing that here, but I will leave the scripture um, here for you guys. But it's so important that we give grace even when it's not given to us. Give love when it's not reciprocated. Now, I'm not saying you need to take abuse. I'm not saying that you need to take gossip and slander and all these things. But, you know, at the same time, we have to remember that this is life. This is what's going to happen when you serve Christ. We're going to be persecuted for Jesus' name's sake. It's, it's written out for us. But it doesn't mean that we need to take abuse because abuse is not okay. And there needs to be a fine line with healthy boundaries. We need to start, it's okay to say no. It's okay to, you know, allow yourself to step into a place where you guard your heart. Guarding your heart is where, you know, your life flows from your heart. So we have to make decisions based on wisdom, asking the Lord for wisdom. God, how do you want me to approach the situation? How do you want me to respond? How do you want me to even go about this? Do you want me to say anything at all? Right? I go back to Proverbs where it talks about the foolish man vents, but the wise man remains silent. And I live my life off the scripture because if we're constantly like venting at all times and not taking our problems or our worries to the Lord and not talking to God, then how are we receiving the wisdom to respond in a situation that can be diffused or maybe not spoken to at all? And so, see, God knows everything. He knows everything. He has the answer to all things. So I encourage you today, if you're in a season of warfare, maybe this is just opposition that has arose and you are like, how do I go about this? Go about it the holy way. Go about it Jesus' way because you'll never go wrong. You'll never steer somebody in the wrong direction when you lead with love in God, when you lead with the fruits of the Holy Spirit, when you lead with faithfulness in Jesus. And again, when we go through warfare, we have to rise up in our authority. Step into your authority. Put on the full armor of God, right? The helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness as we buckle the truth, the belt of truth around our waist as we walk with the shoes of the gospel of God's peace. Take up your shield of faith to quench every fiery dart and lie of Satan, right? The deception, the schemes of Satan. Take up your shield of faith. This is how we guard ourselves and go in with the sword, our sword, which is the word of God. 
this is how we stand against the wicked lies and schemes of Satan. He's dirty. He's always going to be dirty. He's always going to be a liar. He's always going to be a manipulator. He's always going to use people that are weak in their flesh. But we as children of God, we carry the Holy Spirit meaning we carry the light of God, the strength of God, the confidence of God. So don't let a, a mere situation throw you off course. I know like the enemy comes like that. He tries to trigger the buttons that you're weak in. He tries to trigger the very things that you're sensitive in. And if we're not careful, we'll allow him to take a foothold over our lives in that situation and then respond in a way that God never told us to respond in that way too. So I encourage you guys with this, like, if you're going through, and again, I want to go back to, you know, stepping into a deepened season of warfare. And I'm not saying I'm not calling on this, but this is just discernment. Like we have to be vigilant and wise and discerning in this time. And we know it's because people taking place with Halloween, celebrating all the things of the dead and of Satan. And I know a lot of progressive Christians, like I wrote the other day, and we are actually talking about this more in our groups that if we water God's word down, we're not walking in truth and we're definitely not walking in love. We have to stay guarded in the truth of God and who he says he is and his goodness. Because if we are walking in something that's watered down, why, how would anyone benefit from the truth and be set free? So for us to walk in truth and the freedom of Jesus Christ is to stand on God's word because he is the word. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. And we are actually doing others a disservice by not telling them the truth. And that's by walking in evidence to the Holy Spirit, right? So I, I encourage you guys with this. If we're walking into a deepened you know, season of warfare, stay guarded up. You need to say guard it up in the word and prayer, anoint your homes, anoint your relationships in prayer and intercede for others and be there for others. But most importantly, like make sure that you are guarded up. And I know I keep saying this, but it's just so important even for me as well. It's like, okay, that's if there's a dart, a dart being thrown my way. Okay, that's a dart of the enemy. It's opposition. It's, di it's division. And the enemy's coming to divide. He's coming to destroy. And we have to stand against his schemes, against his lies, by standing up in what God says, by surrender, by prayer, by worship, by fasting. So this takes me into talking about our three days of fasting starting from October 1st through the third um and this is something that we're doing corporately if you want to join our fast please join our group i will leave the link in the comments i'll pin it down below for you guys we're starting in two weeks because we're really wanting to just come together and fasting we believe in fasting in the beamer light ministry we truly believe in fasting and praying and interceding and we would love for you guys to join if you're wanting to do this as a community it's so powerful and all of the information will be linked there it will be a dry fast for anyone that is curious and yeah so i love you guys i pray you're blessed by this word share this word with someone today share it with someone today i i truly believe in sharing and what god is speaking and i will talk to you guys soon god bless you